How are we doing? Today I'm going to be talking about my timeline of when I adopted some of these key communication technologies and how kind of how it made me feel and where I was within my life when I ran into these. Um, so I picked out three just to kind of keep this a little bit shorter um, and go a little bit more in depth with each of them. So the first run-in that I had with a communication technology was uh, the radio. And I think this was really important and something that I can kind of look back on within my life as my parents bought this, um, put it in our kitchen, and it was kind of something that we used to bond as a family. Um, wh whether they were making meals or, you know, we were cooking desserts or baking Christmas stuff, whatever it was, we'd always have the radio on. You know, we were listening to our Christian, our favorite Christian stations. We were listening to different ball games, whether it was football games, baseball games, whatever it was. Um, and I was also able to hear kind of some news and what was going on around the world. This was probably when I was about seven or eight. I was able to listen to this stuff with my family. I have an older sister, a younger brother. And it was just something cool that I remember that we were able to bond over um, and made me feel like I was connected to other people, to the sports world, to whatever it was in my kitchen. So that was really cool uh, for me. The next key uh, communication technology that I ran into was a PS2. And this kind of changed how I viewed technology, I think. Um, my brother and my sister and I would play downstairs uh, this PlayStation 2, and we had a variety of different games. And it really, again, connected us, but also connected my friends and I as, a, as after I played overnight or whatever, I was able to go and speak with them um, in school about what I played, what they played, and kind of compare. And it really felt like it was the cool thing at the time, and it was something cool for me that I was able to take away from. Uh, made me feel good. Um, and the next thing, and I think one of the biggest things that I think we should all talk about uh, that I ran into was my cell phone. And I started off without an iPhone. It was kind of a flip phone. But then I, as I got older, um, about, I would say, 15 or 16, right around the time I could drive, my parents wanted to wait a little bit. Um, because they, you know, they were driving me around and they didn't think I needed a cell phone right away. Um, but right around that age, I kind of got my first phone and then a little bit older was able to purchase my first iPhone. And I really think that this changed, you know, how honestly I live my life day to day. It allows me to communicate. It allows me to search the web. It allows me to do a lot of different things um, that, that allow me to be successful um, in my daily activities. So I really think it changed you know, how I view technology, how I live my life, and I think that's something really important. Um, when we're looking at relating these adoptions to the concepts that Rogers discuss about innovation and adoption decisions, I think I want to first talk about, you know, the impact that my parents had within my life and kind of something that I talked about within the readings for today about morality and why, you know, we were a little bit late, I would say kind of more late, maybe majority adopters to some of this technologies because my parents really wanted to ensure that it was the right thing to do. Now, you know, sometimes what can a radio do? Um, it, it seems very innocent, but that's, that's something that my parents really took a look at, whether it was the phone, the PlayStation, the radio, um, with those three key technologies. Um, they just really wanted to ensure that they were making the right decision and that this is going to you know, not just, I wouldn't say hurt us, but not just going to have negative impacts on us. Um, they maybe weren't the best things to do, to spend your time doing. I think being outside and um, having activities like that is a little bit better. But I think that, you know, their morality and value piece was very big into waiting a little bit after these technologies came out um, until we actually purchased them as a family and made the decision um, to use them. So, I would also say one other um, decision that went on within that was hearing from my parents' friends who were more, you know, innovators, early adopters. They were able to kind of get the insight that they needed, and I were, was able to hear from their kids, which were my friends, about how they were feeling about the product, you know, why they think I should have the product um, already and should go get it. Um, and so, you know, we, were, we weren't really out of the loop because we were able to hear from them, you know, kind of their key feedback 
um, and better understand that. And then finally, uh, we, we're going to talk about a technology that um, I avoided or missed. And I think one technology um, that I avoided altogether was kind of Facebook and Twitter. I'll link those together. Um, I just never really had a reason or any motive to get it. And I think that it was important because I, I wouldn't spend so much time, you know, on my phone or on social media. Um, so I think that's, um, super important to understand. And I think that it, it hasn't really separated me from technology users within my generation. I don't even think that Facebook and Twitter are, I know Twitter's a little bit bigger than Facebook, but I don't think that that's something that would, you know, cause to have a disconnect within my life. So yeah, that's kind of my timeline. I bring up those three technologies, the radio, the PS2, and then the iPhone, which were all super important in my life. You know, first the radio when I was about uh, seven or eight, the PS2 when I was right around 10 or 11. And then as I got a little bit older into my, you know, preteens and teens, right before I could drive, you know, got my first phone and then moved up to an iPhone. Um, and they just made me all feel different ways about how I can communicate and stay relevant within the society that I live in. And then kind of those um, concepts, adoption concepts, you know, and my family kind of being maybe a little bit late majority, um, just because, again, how I bring up that piece of ensuring morality and ethics, whatever, that we're doing the right thing and making the right decision on these technologies as they could have negative impacts. And then again, the last thing is didn't really have Facebook or Twitter, and I don't really feel like that separated me from the technology users of my generation. So thanks, guys, for listening to my timeline.